Law enforcement from all over the country rallying around a sick boy from Warsaw. The 11-year-old aspiring police officer was diagnosed with a benign brain tumor and will soon undergo chemo. News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us now with how officers are showing their support. Brett and Heather, when Drake Price was admitted to the hospital nearly two weeks ago, he told doctors about his dream job. Now his family is working to collect as many patches from police agencies everywhere that would be a part of a chemo quilt for Drake. An outpouring of support. From our very own Indiana State Police, of course. All the way from El Paso, that's our farthest probably right now. For a little boy determined to wear one of these patches one day, declaring on a school project he's going to be a police officer. And with my husband being a police officer, of course, I took that and was very proud of that moment. Michelle Hanlon says her nephew Drake Price fell ill just a couple of weeks ago. The 11-year-old rushed to Riley Hospital to have a brain tumor removed. And he had told the doctors that weekend that he wanted to be a police officer. Hanlon says while in recovery, the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department paid Drake a visit. He would give him a little smile and a thumbs up. They brought him a shirt, a hat, and an IMPD patch, one of many more patches to come. And just started reaching out to local law enforcement, friends, police wives. So far, Hanlon says they've received about 50 of them already. All of them will be stitched into a chemo quilt for Drake. I think it's just also going to encourage him to fight and be Drake strong. That's kind of his motto for this fight of the brain tumor. Hanlon says the response has been overwhelming. Every day, she says people contacting her, letting her know there's more on the way. Our family has been so blessed and we're just so humbled by all the people who are reaching out to us. For more information on how you can send police patches for Drake's chemo quilt, head over to Wayne.com. And if you want updates on how Drake is doing, his family has created a Facebook page. It's called Drake Strong. In studio, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.